Cooper? Kill my sister, you Chilling new details revealed today in the murder of a Providence woman. 40-year-old Sherbert Maddox was killed in her Parkus Avenue apartment. We're also learning that the man who allegedly killed her did try and cover up the crime. A few months ago, we featured the story of Sherbert Strawberry Maddox on our website, but at the time, details were still developing. Her former boyfriend, 53-year-old Nathan Cooper, was at the center of the investigation. In May, her family could not contain their emotion as Nathan, charged with murder, stood before a judge. Fast forwarding to today, Nathan has pleaded not guilty to those charges. Sherbert Maddox, who friends and family called Strawberry, was 40 years old and lived in Providence. Strawberry was described as beautiful, fabulous, and charming. She was a mother, sister, cousin, and so much more. She loved music, she liked to dance, and she loved to have fun. She was always happy, smiling, laughing, and loved to be around the one she loved. Strawberry was always the light of the party, but although she was always in high spirits, she fell victim to some horrible situations. Strawberry was a victim of DV and fought hard to get out of her situation. According to family, Strawberry was dating a man named Nathan Cooper and the two eventually moved in together. The entire history between the two are still being uncovered. However, Nathan had prior convictions and a pattern of domestic incidents with Strawberry. Nathan's alleged behavior never changed, which led Strawberry to call it quits. But unfortunately, during the time of transitioning, the unthinkable happened. A friend called Strawberry's uncle while he was at work and the friend told him his niece might be in trouble. Marvin immediately called the police and went to her house to check on her. He said, sure enough, Strawberry was discovered wrapped up in a refrigerator. Because somebody called my uncle and told him, hey, I think your niece is deceased or something's wrong with her. And my uncle came, ran and flew drive down here and he knocked out the door and they would not open it for him, so he kicked in the door. And he seen his niece in there. Some of these details may be extremely disturbing to some viewers, so just a warning about that. But police saying today that 40-year-old Sherbert Maddox, known to many as Strawberry, was shot and killed, then wrapped in blankets and saran wraps, then placed into a refrigerator all by her own boyfriend. Police responded to the apartment around 2.30 a.m. Tuesday for a well-being check. During the well-being check, Strawberry's boyfriend, Nathan, was taken in for questioning. After a search warrant was obtained, police went back and discovered Strawberry in a refrigerator that had been moved from the kitchen to a bedroom. Detectives also found weapons they believe were used to harm Strawberry and to cell phones. At the time, during questioning, police said Nathan told investigators that he and Strawberry were using lace substances on March 16th before he shot her while she was taking a shower. After she stopped breathing, court documents say he wrapped her up in a blanket, removed the shelves from the refrigerator, and stored her inside. He said he never called 911 because he didn't trust the police. During that time, his recount of events were not confirmed and Cooper was then charged with murder. About, uh, about 2.30 a.m. yesterday morning, uh, police were given information that a, a female had been deceased and was at uh, 43 Parkus Avenue. Uh, patrol officers went there. Um, there was some circumstances that made them enter the apartment. Um, in there was a Nathan Cooper who's, who shares or shared the apartment with a Sherbet Maddox. Mr. Cooper was taken in for questioning. Um, we then obtained a search warrant, and uh, Ms. Maddox was found deceased in the apartment. Uh, she was <clears throat> actually wrapped in several layers of uh, types of saran wrap, towels, uh, blankets, 
and then she was placed in a refrigerator. Right now, um, I would believe it was intact. Our investigation is showing that uh, he did have uh, violent tendencies toward her in the past. So, so uh, your investigation from um, witnesses, 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 friends, and family. During his first court appearance, the family learned more about the gruesome incident and even confronted Nathan. Her sister spoke directly to him before she was escorted out. Some of her family members believe others may be involved in trying to cover up the incident, and police added they are requesting a search warrant for the two cell phones based on the circumstances of the investigation. Nonetheless, Nathan was scheduled to return back to court on June 3, 2022 after being held without bond, and months later, after a long way during Nathan's most recent court appearance. He pleaded not guilty to all charges. Many are in disbelief and shocked by the plea. It took a part of my family that we could never get back. Your day is coming. I want the world to know that justice will be served on my sister. Nobody had to do that girl like that. I don't care what she did. She did not have to go out like that. Strawberry story is being reshared throughout social media, especially after that report. Everyone is hoping for justice to be served in her case. I'm glad the local news followed up on this story as much as possible. I remember when we first featured this, I was sent the update over the weekend and I was in complete disbelief. I will continue to keep her friends and family in my thoughts and prayers. I hope that justice is served in this case and all the resources needed for the family are available to them. Let's please respect the victim and the family in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. And with that being said, don't forget to check on your loved ones.